بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد The 19th juz or para of the Quran starts from the end of uh, Surah Al-Furqan or the remaining part of Surah Al-Furqan and so here in, in this first part of the juz, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, warns us uh, from taking evil companions and how these evil companions will be uh, a burden for us on the day of judgment. And so we will say, you know, I wish I never took uh, so and so as a companion, as a friend. He misguided me and led me astray. And Allah also mentions regarding uh, abandoning the Qur'an uh, and how we should not abandon the Qur'an and how the Messenger وسلم, will come on the Day of Judgment and say, my people abandoned the Qur'an. Uh, after that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions towards the end, uh, or rather before that, uh, the rest of Surah Al-Furqan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, talks about his oneness, the tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and how the evidences for that are in uh, the creation of Allah. All of these things in the creation of Allah prove the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then at the end of Surah Al-Furqan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, mentions some of the characteristics of Ibadur Rahman, the servants or the true slaves and servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions وَعِبَادُ Rahman are those who have such and such traits, uh, such and such characteristics. And so we should read these uh, verses and contemplate over them and ask ourselves, do we uh, fit these descriptions? And so if we don't, we have a lot of work to do until we reach that level of being called the true uh, servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, after that, we move on to the next surah, which is basically Surah Al-Shu'ara, uh, the poets, the poets. And Surah Al-Shu'ara, uh, basically, uh, the entire surah uh, is filled with stories of the prophets, stories of the prophets. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, mentioned the, the story of Musa alayhi salam, and uh, what took place with Fir'aun uh, and Bani Israel and how Allah drowned Fir'aun and saved Bani Israel and so on and so forth, the, the magicians and uh, you know the entire story of Musa pretty much is there. Uh, and Allah also mentions the story of Ibrahim السلام, and how Ibrahim uh, mentioned a very very important uh, statement or a dua to Allah that oh Allah make my heart uh, to be Salim to be sound uh, and free of defaults uh, that um, you know that qalbun salim uh, that sound heart is the only thing that will benefit a person on the day of judgment as ibrahim salam mentioned and so the salim heart the sound heart is that heart which is uh, free uh, of uh, shubuhat and shahawat Shubuhat being doubts concerning our faith, and shahawat being our lustful desires. Uh, and then, you know, Allah mentions other prophets as well. Uh, Nuh alayhi salam, uh, Hud, Salih, Shu'aib, uh, and the other prophets. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions them uh, briefly uh, and their stories in this surah. Uh, after that, uh, we move on to the next surah, which is Surah An-Naml. Uh, the beginning of this uh, surah is uh, part of this juz. And so Surah An-Naml, which means the ant, uh, starts by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioning the story of Musa alayhi salam once again, uh, until uh, we get to the story of Sulaiman. Uh, Allah mentions Sulaiman and his father Dawood and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions how 
uh, he blessed Sulaiman السلام, with power that was not given to any of the other prophets, uh, physical power and you know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala basically uh, giving uh, Sulaiman uh, access to uh, his uh, creatures, uh, whether it be animals or the jinn. And so these were armies uh, and you know uh, Allah gave uh, Sulaiman السلام, access to these creatures to use them uh, how he wished uh, in the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the, the ant, uh, An-Naml, is mentioned here uh, when uh, you know Sulaiman set out with his army and uh, they, they were about to come across this uh, uh, valley of ants. And so uh, the ant, uh, it warned the other ants, it said, look, Sulaiman's coming with his army. And so Sulaiman heard that, you know, because Sulaiman uh, could hear the animals and could understand them. And so uh, what did Sulaiman say? Instead of boasting uh, like anyone else would do and saying that, you know, you know, look how powerful I am and so on and so forth. Uh, he humbled himself and he made dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, oh Allah, make me a thankful uh, servant of yours uh, so that I thank you for these blessings. Uh, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the story of Sulaiman uh, with the queen of uh, the queen uh, of Yemen at that time, uh, who was Bilqis. And uh, how, you know, the, the story that took place where uh, Sulaiman uh, sent uh, a delegation to call her uh, and to give her da'wah and, you know, what took place and then how she came uh, in his presence uh, and, you know, the rest of that story is mentioned. And then after that we have uh, the, the, the mention of other prophets, uh, including Lut. And one of the things that we learned from the story of Lut is uh, that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala destroyed not only uh, the people of Lut who were involved in the crime of homosexuality, but also those who approved of uh, this uh, evil act. Uh, and so the wife of Lut السلام, was not involved in those indecent uh, acts, uh, but rather she approved of, of what they used to do. And so she was included in the punishment. And so this is a warning uh, to us that we should never approve of, uh, you know, uh, whether it be of kufr or of uh, evil deeds and evil acts, even if, you know, it seems that there, there is some kind of benefit for us in approving uh, such evil deeds. And this is a message to Muslims, especially in the West today, who are forced to uh, approve of homosexuality or other uh, evil acts or kufr, uh, thinking that if we approve of these things, then you know, there is benefit for us, uh, you know, uh, we will gain some benefit out of that. Uh, so this is basically what was mentioned in this juz up to here, and in the next uh, juz we continue on with Surah An-Naml. Until then, Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik, ashhadu wa la ilaha illa ant, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.